Great walk, DannyBoxingBoys.com here in Las Vegas with 140 pound contender Richardson Hitchens headlining. Uh, first time headlining in Vegas? Oh, yeah, Vegas, yes. First time headlining in Vegas. Uh, and first time ever that the Fontaine Blues held a fight here. So it's historical for the venue and for the property. How excited are you, or is it just another night, another night out for you? Um, excited, but I gotta just stay composed and just make it another night out in the ring and uh, go out there what I do best. That's just box. Gustavo Lemos in front of you, a uh, guy with an undefeated record, but you know, when we start to break it down, we don't really know a lot of the guys that, that, that he's faced. What are you expecting Saturday night? Him out there to be aggressive and fight hard. Him out there to be aggressive and fight hard, and that's what I'm gonna be also. I'm gonna be out there, be aggressive, fight hard, and uh, Impose my skills and my will on him. Now we saw him. We saw him come out hard uh, with Selby, and you you mentioned that during the press conference how he got touched a few times. I think it was maybe round four, round three, or yeah. early on in the fight where he got stunned a bit. Um, seems like you've been growing well into the division, and and I, we were just talking, you know, uh, getting comfortable at this point in your career. Uh, do you think if he comes out the same way that it could get ugly for him? Yeah, it could definitely get ugly if he come out the same way because you can't just come out with me just, just come like just straightforward like a bull. It, it, you gotta you fight like that. You gotta at least do it calculated. Come out and take your time or do something. But I mean, I get it. He did that with himself. That was a, a older guy. The fight wasn't as big. It was in his city. You know, he, he, mentally he's not in the same place he's at for that fight than this fight. I would. I don't. I don't think so. I feel like. This is the big stage. This is a whole different type of fight. When people have heard you uh, say this about Lemos leading up to the fight, just reading some of the comments, some people feel that you're overlooking them. No. Uh, in the press conference, you're making it clear, I'm not looking past them. What do you say to the people that, that, that do think that? I mean, it, I, how can I overlook? I train, I train weeks and weeks for this guy. I train hard. That every work, every, everything that I've done for my past fights, I've done that and more. So there's no overlooking nobody. I'm prepared. I ain't, I ain't eating burgers. I ain't getting pussy two days before the fight. I'm just talking how I feel. Like just being every, confident. Yeah, everything we, we don't overlook. I don't have a, a team that would just let me go out there and be like, oh come on, Lempo, Lempo, he's a bum. Like, right. Nah, this guy is tough. He's a man. He's a guy undefeated record. He has power. He has shit that I gotta be dialed in for to watch out for. This is this is 12 round. High level boxing. This is not no game. Now, uh, talk about the training. I know you've been in Vegas. How many weeks did you do out here? And uh, where'd you start camp off at? I did. I started camp in New York, and then I finished like my last three weeks out here. So, yeah, it was a uh, great week. Great, great week. Um, training weeks in Vegas. Great training weeks in uh, New York. Just getting myself prepared, doing what I do. You know? Seeing you hit Mount Charleston, right? Yeah, definitely had to see what Mount Charleston is about. You know. Everybody in Vegas was talking about that. Like, you know, my that was your first time? Yeah, I never did it before. Wow, okay. It was tough. It was tough. I finished it, though. I definitely finished it. My boy did it. He couldn't do more than two, three miles in there. Nah, yeah, for yeah. sure, man. Yeah. I know some pro fighters that can't finish it, yeah. you know, going up. Uh, got some good rounds in. Uh, Carmel Moten. Uh, who else did you spar while you was in Vegas? If you don't mind saying. Carmel Moten was really, like, the most, you know, like, name guy I could okay. think of. I spar. I sparred uh, some of Bones Adam uh, fighters also. Okay. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. Not too many good guys. Not yeah. too many guys I can think of. Yeah, no, we know Bones got some good guys over there. Some good work over there. Um, not to look past uh, Saturday night. Well, actually, first, what's your thoughts on some upcoming fights? Uh, two weeks from now, we got Devin Haney, obviously. Uh, WBC champion at 140 in the same division, going up against Ryan Garcia. What are your thoughts going into the fight, uh, Brooklyn? I think it's gonna be a, a good fight. I think uh, the fans saying, I mean, I feel like Devin can't overlook uh, uh, Ryan. Also, he's I don't think he he is. I think he put he put in work this camp for the fight from the looks of it. And um, I think that uh. Ryan and Devin's gonna be a good fight. You know, two young, talented guys going at it. It's good for the sport. That's what boxing needs. That's 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 boxing. So I think it's great. I'm I, I would be mad if we wasn't talking about that fight, but we are talking about it. So that means both of the guys are doing good things. 
Now, I know you've known both guys and are familiar with both guys. By any chance, were you there? Did you happen to see any of their amateur fights? I see one of the fights. When I think the last one, the one that Devin won. Okay. I was there. Uh, I really, I don't really remember the fight. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. <coughs> now, uh, this is an IBF eliminator. You got Sabril Matias. Uh, he's fighting June fifteenth, if I'm not mistaken. Um, fighting another undefeated guy out of Australia, but a lot of people would just feel that Matias is too strong, uh, too powerful. What are your thoughts on the fight, and uh, what are your thoughts on Matias overall? I don't know. I think it's a good fight, but I feel like uh, I don't know. I feel like Matias is. A, are you familiar with Leon Paro? No, fought, I'm not familiar. He I mean, fought Montana Love. He fought me and about a similar opponent okay. in uh, Alamo. Okay. So I mean, I know him and Alamo had a, like a split decision. I wasn't there for uh, I wasn't there for the uh, to watch the fight. There was no place I, I really could tune into the fight. But I just feel like um, yeah, uh, you know, I feel I have a favorite uh, Matias in the fight. Stop it, you, or you think uh, Paro's Paro is? Durable? I think that's probably uh, Paro corner stop it, the referee would have to stop it. Now, um, I know you've brought up the, the, the IBF, like, uh, next day weight and everything in the past. Can you, like, clarify? Because uh, I'm going to be honest, it's, it's too much shit to keep up with. I mean, it's... Where do you stand on it? Because obviously this is an, uh, an eliminator for that. Um, would you be willing to, to to sacrifice that against a Matias should the opportunity present itself? I mean, or? That's, yeah, that's why I'm here in line, you know, for, for the IBF. I'm still fighting for it. I could have been like, fuck, no, I'm not fighting for no IBF. Give me another fight. That means it's still a, a, a big... It's still here. Like, the, right. that's still a, a potential fight for me. That's still a fight that I want. If I didn't want no parts of Matias, I would not fight for the IBF. I, I, I had... Tons of options to be like, I don't want to fight for the IBF, period. Like, I'm, it's not like I'm not ranked in other belts besides No, for the sure, IBF, for so. sure. No, and that's why when a lot of people say that you was ruling it out, uh, and I see the IBF, and only, I'm like, well, it seems like, you know, he's right. on board. And to be clear, just because I don't know, probably should, but do you have to make the uh, weight sat Saturday for yes, this fight? I have to make weight Saturday. So even for the, even yeah, for the, the okay. But we coming in, we got to make weight Saturday, to, tomorrow and Saturday. And Saturday morning? Yes. Okay, okay. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. See, and I'm sure a lot of people think it's just for the title. Um, gotta ask you because a lot of people are saying he ducking. Is Canelo ducking Benavidez? I don't think so. I think Canelo proved himself over and over time and time again in the big stage. I think that he's been here He's earned the numerous times. I feel like um, he has the right. We've, I've seen Canelo back against the wall with Gennady Golovkin. He put Flight and Floyd Mayweather. He's been in big moments. He's been against monsters. He's been against Hall of Famers. So it's hard to say a guy like that is just ducking anybody. How could you say that? How you see him and Munguia playing out? It's in about three weeks, four weeks. Oh, they still fighting? I seen some shit was canceled. That was a joke. April uh, Fools. Oh, that was oh, an April oh, oh, Fools. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> um, I think he, he, he gets he gets my good. Decision? Uh, we ain't seen him get a knockout in a couple of yeah, years. It might be tough. The, uh, how old is Munguia? He, uh, I feel like he's like 27, 28, something like yeah, that. Yeah, Munguia, Munguia's tough, though. He's tough, and he's 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 not going to make it easy. But I feel like Canelo's a once-in-a-generational type of talent. We're not going to see too much talents like that in boxing. Like, just easy. He's a, he's a very talented fighter. For sure. Last thing for me, want your thoughts. It ain't been officially announced, but all but officially announced, it seems like June 22nd in Houston, Texas. Uh, you got Javante Davis fighting Frank Martin, and then you got uh, David Benavidez moving up to 175, fighting Bozdick. Just want your thoughts on both of those fights. Should be a great card. Um, I feel like Benavidez should get the W, and I feel like I'm rocking with Tank all day, so it's gonna be it's gonna be dope. I was glad to see uh, Frank Martin. Uh, you know, even though the I know the money was is a great money for that Tank fight, big opportunity in the age. You know, all that plays a key for, but when, when uh, guys are going against you know top top talent. guys, you know yeah. he's, he's at that point. I think well, he's about 30 now. Frank 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 Martin is about 30. Yeah, 29, something 30, like that. 30, 29, 30. You know, already done built himself up. And now they give him a huge opportunity, so why not take it for huge money? So this is this is a big opportunity for him, man. This is what going into the sport is all about, getting big opportunities and doing the most you can do with it.
Now, I know you're riding with Tank, but how do you see the fight play out? Like, Frank Martin, guy that, you know, like you said, he's older, but not too much professional experience, not against the top level at least. Um, how, how much can he do against Tank? I don't know, because uh, Frank Martin talent is talented, so that could give Tank problems also, because, you know, he's one of the most talented guys that Tank fought, one of the most athletic athletic guys that Tank fought, but Tank got that one punch equalizing. Tank is like another guy like Canelo, like once in a generational type of talent. You're not going to see shit like that. The shit that Tank do, you're not going to see it like anywhere, really. Right. So, Frank Martin is in for a, a, a big night, too. Well, Richardson, looking forward to Saturday night. I know the fans will be tuned in, uh, locked in, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be an exciting performance against Gustavo Lemos. Thank you. Appreciate what up, YouTube time. family? Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.